Ja. Hello. Um, let's see if I can find myself. It always talks a bit easier if I can see what you're saying. Let's see. Let's see if I'm here. Um, don't see myself. <laughs> always fun. No, wrong life. No, 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 I'm not here yet, I think. Or maybe I am and I can't see myself. Let's see. Always frustrating when Facebook doesn't really want to do what I want to do. No, it really doesn't do what I want to do. Mm -mm -mm. And it's quite essential for me to be able to watch. I really can't see myself. Okay. Maybe if somebody can like the video, then I can see myself. But I'm completely invisible for myself. Hello. Okay. Um, I'm going to start. Uh, I, I hope you can see and hear me. I can't see myself on the laptop, so I have to improvise. I will try again in a minute. Hello, if you're watching, so fun that you are here. I'm going to make, um, I'm going to combine a lot of uh, collections today because I just want to make something pretty. And I am using all kinds of different collections. So these are the frames from the paper flower collection. I think you know uh, them. I already assembled it, otherwise it will take too long. I will use Annette's collection with the gorgeous bee <laughs> uh, collection. I, I had this in my hand and I uh, maybe I will do one of these gears like this because I got questions about that. So that's why I took this card and I um, maybe I will do that too. And I'm going to make a lid on this box. I'm going to do a lot. Uh, stencils, uh, flowers, of course. And again, I'm going to see if I'm here. No. I'm still not here. I don't even know if I'm live. I'm going to watch on my phone. Yeah, I think you are there. I just can't see me, <laughs> which is not good. Okay. And I don't know why. Um, because I should be live in the correct group. I don't know why I'm not visible. I don't know why, but it's kind of frustrating. I can't see what you're saying. I can't see anything. I can't see what I'm doing. No, 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 not here. But on my phone, I see you there. Okay, no. Still have to improvise. Okay, oh, thanks Els. Els is sending me a chat. Okay, I'll just do my thing. Yeah, so this card. Um, I don't know if you want to, but I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the 3D uh, gear. I already have one here, so I'm going to do that. And I wanted to show you how to do this because I've got too many questions about that one. Let's start. I'll just put this aside and start with the gift box. And I'm going to make this gift box from the frames, the paper flower collection frames. These are the thin ones. There are two sizes, a bigger one and a thin one. Um, these are a about three quarter of an inch, I think you say it. Uh, one and a half centimeters it is. Um, the width it is. Ah, there I am. I can see myself and I can see you. Hi, yeah, like, comment and share. You can might win a gift certificate, sure. Yeah, I'm here, ha, ah, hello. Okay, so the frame is ready. I have already showed you how to do this and else did. And I think a lot of other people who went live did as well. So just, cut them, I cut them to size and I glued them together. Just slide them in and um, there are a lot of lives about this. So I did this already because otherwise I don't have enough time. This will go behind it. And this paper is the paper from Davis collection, the Art Journal Specials, the new paper. This will go behind it. Will look like this. I will put an extra one behind it because on this, I want to show you how this works, the 3D version of the 
of the gear. I think um, I will just show you how to do that. And I only have, um, I don't have a thick present, so I can use the smaller frames for this. So, but if you have a bigger, uh, like a, a chocolate bar or something, you can put that in there as well. You can cut everything to size and you can use the bigger ones if you have thicker, uh, a thicker gift. But this is okay for my gifts. This will be fine. Let's start with this one. Okay, so this is the first one. This is the second one. Yeah. On this one, I want to have the... 3D effects of the gear. So what I'll do, I will just, let's see where I want it. I don't know exactly, it doesn't really matter where, let's do it here. So I have my big, big shot here, I cannot put it here, but I will just cut this um, in my big uh, shot. And then I will look back to you. This has to be done, otherwise I can't show you this technique. I'm just running this through my big shot. Just do one gear. I don't have an electric one, I do everything by hand. But that works just fine. Let it go. And it has to be here, otherwise I can't show you what I want to show you. And this one. You cut it through your die cutting machine and you save all the little pieces. Don't do anything else with it, save it. I will get my smaller die cutting machine for the rest so you can see what I'm doing. But this one I can't uh, cut in this small one. So I want everything to be saved and it's like a puzzle later on but that's okay and I had a small circle I always lose everything where is the small circle the middle oh, here okay it's not allowed to go anywhere because I need it in a minute then I take the gear and where is my tweezers? I lost it. I will use this. And there's the gear. Okay, so that's step one. Step two. I'll take um, a piece of cardstock. Let's do. Uh, just do a black cardstock. Oh, there are my tweezers. And I will cut the gear again three times. Oh, I'm still. I'm not moving anymore on my laptop. I hope I'm still visible for you. Yeah, I am. It's just my laptop again. I don't know why my laptop is being so difficult. So we are going to do this. We're going to cut it again no, three times, I think. That's enough. And I'll try to work fast because I want to do a lot today. Yeah, Elsa's in the car, just listening in. <laughs> You don't have to save uh, the extra pieces from the cardstock parts. You just want to use the gears. And as I said, we are going to do this three times to get the 3D effects. Yeah, the little one, Anita, is, I use it so many times in combination with the A4 one, the Big Shot Plus. I can't do without anymore because you really get used to um, the luxury of having a big one and a, and a small one. It re really works fine for this. Fits the third one. Let's try. There we 
go. So. And that's number three. What I have to do now is take the gears and glue them on top of one another. And of course, I need a bit of glue for that. And of course, the one with the design paper goes on top. Um, you have to, it doesn't really fit one on one. So yeah, this is the part. So you have to look how to glue them because they, it comes in quite precise. You have to do that quite precisely, but um, it will work just fine. And if you do this with glue, you can just, for the first few seconds, you can just shift it a bit so it will fit better. That's one, then number two. And hello and welcome if you're coming in. I kind of just started after some technical issues that that solved. And that's the third one. And this is the design paper one and that one goes on top. Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's Wednesday and <laughs> already i must say i was confused uh, about the day the whole I, I i am thinking it's friday and i've been thinking it's friday all day which of course is not a good thing because it's not friday i have to work two more days <laughs> okay that's the last one the design paper one and now you kind of have a thick um die cut We'll take this. This will go here. Let's glue everything together. You can use double sided uh, tape, but I'm almost out. So I have to buy a new one. And then um, but I must say, I often use glue anyway. Sometimes the double sided tape is better. There we go. And this will go on top. So I just got everything to size. I told you in the beginning. What I'm going to do now is a, a, like a puzzle. I'm going to take the die cut and place it back. You see, you already have the 3D effect, but you want to have these papers as well and glue them inside so then you get this 3d effect i don't know if i can show you right yeah it's it's a i think an older technique it's not new but i got so many questions that i thought i will do one and then move on to the box okay this is kind of a Puzzle, this fits here, yeah. And the effect, um, it's a quite a simple technique, but the effect is really cute. And of course there's the one in the middle. Where is my wax pen? I've lost about everything here. I don't know where my wax pen is. Hmm. Okay, I will just do it like this with the tweezers. 
and again it's like a puzzle you have to glue everything back the way it was there we go so especially with the stripes yeah that goes here yeah that would be cool with a honeycomb too yeah I am uh, trying it out with several kinds of dyes, but um, I tried this one before and it worked really good. So I thought, why not use it again for today and show you how it works. So everybody has questions about it. You can just watch back. more to go and then we are ready and this one should be here yeah there we are and this one okay First part's done. Look. Easy, but effective. Uh, Patricia, the thick one. I didn't try the thick one yet. I only tried this one and the smaller ones. But I think it will work with every one of them. Uh, this is really a matter of trying out. Yeah, you can use the honeycomb, you can use well whatever you want. Oh. So the base of the box is ready. But I want to have a lid as well because I want to close it. And again, I'm using the paper from the Art Journal Specials. Um, and I already um, pre-cut this, otherwise uh, it will take too long. But yeah, yeah, I love the 3D effect too, because it's... Um I don't know what you're talking about, Patricia, because what I'm doing is I cut from the design paper and put everything back. I just uh, use the gear or whatever you have. Um, I cut them three times more from cardstock and, and glue everything together and put everything back. And that's how you get this 3D effect. You can also uh, make um, thick gears and use them on anything you like. I mean, you ha also have a 3D effect, of course, but I want it to integrate with my design paper. So that's what I did. Yeah. Okay. If you want to make a lid, and I think most of you know, but if you don't, you have the base and you want to make a lid on top of it you make it uh, you measure it and i'm always measuring in centimeters of course it's 11 and a half centimeters that's a, a little over four and a half inch if you want to make a lid you need to add um, just yeah, i think three millimeters in the in the centimeters of course i don't know how much that is in inches just I will show you on my it's just a little bit you know one two three millimeters it's just a little bit more width than the box and you do that on both sides and what you do then is take your um, scoring board yeah here and in my case it's 11 and a half centimeters so it's about 11.8 centimeters plus the sides the side is about one and a half centimeters so one and a half one and a half is three centimeters plus eleven and a half plus three millimeter and if you measure that you can just um, use your scoring board and use and you just score I, I hope I make sense. You just measure your box. The width, the height, 
you add everything up and you make the middle part just a bit wider than the box is. That's all you do. And you do that on both sides. Yes, and I'm using the shadow box frames, definitely. If you have done that and you have scored on all sides, what you do then is take your scissors or you can use your cutting machine, but I, it's just a small part, so I will use my scissors. Ew. And I just cut one of the scoring score lines. Doesn't really matter which one. I will just cut just a little part so you can fold it and glue this behind this part. Yeah. Going to do the same on this side. Oh, well, let's do this one too. Have some consistency. All I have to do now, oh, <laughs> your brain crashed. One and a half centimeters, 11 and a half centimeters, and again, one and a half centimeters. That's 11 and a half plus three centimeters. Do you have that? It's 14 and a half centimeters. But you want the middle part just a little wider. So you add two or three millimeters. And that's how you score. Then you get this. That's possible to fold around your box. I have to do this in, uh, in, in centimeters. Otherwise, I really don't know what I'm talking about anymore. And I see it, I didn't measure quite perfectly because it's, the height is different. Why is it different? Hmm. Let's see how this works. No, no, it's just fine. And when you fold it like this, you get a lid. No, my lid is going over the box. That's right, Sylvia. It's going over the box and I'm doing that because I want to add a present in the box. And it's going over like this, should fit, yeah. Oh, of course it fits. I have to glue it right away. <laughs> and while I'm gluing, I'm thinking I shouldn't glue yet because I want to work on the top. But this is really how it works. It will go over. But I want to work on the top. So I'm going to tear it all apart. I'm going to first add things to the lid. So the box is ready. The lid is ready too. But I'm going to add things on top, of course. I'm going to use um, a stencil. I wanted to use a stencil today. I am going to use the half mandala stencil today. And I'm going to take my heat tool and a paste. Um, what is this? This is a green paste. Green because this is also a bit green, so I thought a green paste would work fine. I'm going to add the paste to the stencil. Oh. 
I accidentally went under the stencil. But that's okay. I will um, have a flower and cover that up. <laughs> And it's just a green, it's hunter green or something. But as the paper is a bit of green too, I thought green would be a nice color to use. going to be perfect because I accidentally went under oh. and it needs a bit more here and it needs a bit more here and here good thing I checked because it's very difficult to correct later on I went under here, you can see it. I will just cover it up. Maybe I can remove a bit of paste already. Yeah. There too. That's my mistake. I just want to go too fast. Just going to throw this in the water and we'll clean it later. There we are. So. I know there are people not cleaning their stencils and stamps, but I always am. <laughs> and I'm going to make some noise because this has to dry. And don't you just love the stencils? I do. I'm a big stencil fan. You might know. <laughs> if you watch my lives, you might know. But whether you use ink, whether you use a paste like this, or just modeling paste and add a watercolor uh, paint, or another kind of paint uh, later on, it doesn't really matter. The effect is just always magical. Sorry for the noise, but if I don't dry this, it will take about two hours to dry, and that's just too long. But the effect, yeah, is always gorgeous. It's a glitter face. Can you see that? It's a glitter paste. Oh, hello, Penny. Yeah, it's oh yeah, it's really a gorgeous stencil indeed. Okay, that's it for now. I'm going to make the flowers. Oh, ooh, not dry yet. It will dry in a minute and otherwise I will use the heat tool again. I will just put that aside. The B. Um, I already... Oh, it really wasn't dry because the paste is all over my hands right now. <laughs> but okay, the B. That's B. I made this B with black cardstock. Um, I lost the name of this one. We say vellum in Dutch. The, the see-through paper parchment paper I don't know anymore and I used the yellow from this one <laughs> from the book five I bought book five and six this week and they came and you can see I already started uh, working uh, with it with the paper and I used the orange paper and the green paper and the yellow um, oh, 
the yellow paper for today so I pre-cut a lot and I must say love them both they came in this week and I'm just I was just flipping through them about five times per book <laughs> and my husband said do you like it I said yeah I like it <laughs> so goodbye a goodbye oh it's the same in English Karen thank you Fallon it's Fallon so flowers um, I have my flower uh, oh and I have this one of course which I will add that later the flower shaping set is just a basic set nothing fancy oh and now I have to be a bit careful because I pre-cut the flowers I just have to assemble them and the leaves and I cut them from the paper from the book really pretty you might recognize it There we are. I also uh, cut a lot of those small flowers because they give a fun effect. And of course, I have the leftovers from the honeycomb uh, uh, elements. So, a lot of flowers. In the, and I have my ventilator here and it's blowing everything away, but um, I'm trying to keep it all here. There we are. Yeah, the reminiscence book. Thank you, Sir Stempelot. Yeah, I love them. It's a very good buy. It's, it, I, I do not regret that one. It's really gorgeous. Okay, so I already assembled the bee. I have the honeycomb. I want to use the flowers as well. And because this is going to be in black cardstock, I have the flowers in the colors, but I have these, those go in the middle, in black again. Um, let's try it. It might be fun that way okay the ventilator is blowing my flowers somewhere else shoot oh yeah the third one there we go going to do this fast going to do this with the big bowl okay, just going to distress the paper and when you do that there we go on the back side and then push down in the middle on the front you might have seen this before you will get um, a nice effect oh thank you penny <laughs> it's um yeah i love making things pretty and i love making gifts like this because it's personal people see you did a lot of trouble or did a lot to make something pretty for them so it, it's nice to give uh, yeah fun to make always important because if it's not fun to make just buy a box and you don't have the trouble <laughs> I don't want to do that oh we need a ventilator it's just blowing everything away uh, there we go I'm going to do them quite basic today there are several ways to make the flowers, to assemble the flowers, to prepare the flowers. Um, I think uh, Karen Gerber, if I pronounced her name right, showed you a few of them. Anita is, uh, showed you a lot of pictures with them already. This is kind of the basic way to assemble them. But why not? Why not do it the basic way, the easy way? The effect is just gorgeous, so... Okay, going to do the same with this one. Using the big one again. <laughs> yeah, Penny. <laughs> I might do that one day, you never know. Just going to make something during a life and send it well wherever. With some goodies because. Yeah, it's like snail mail, right? If you make a project, a creative project for somebody who crafts too, it's it's fun to make something pretty and send it with all kinds of um, goodies with it. Because they will use it in their own project, right? And you can use do all kinds of snail mail projects. Uh, we are current. I'm currently participating in an ATC one, ATC card one. 
Um, but yeah, you can do that with whatever topic you want. Oh, he's shaping the flowers out. Not too well watching this too to finish. Oh, your Alaskan mini album. Oh yeah, Karen is on a on a cruise ship right now, right? Teaching. I want to do that too. <laughs> How do you do that? I want to be a teacher on a boat. <laughs> Wonderful, creative and pretty views and everything. Okay, I'm going to assemble this one too. Again, quite, oh, stay here. It's still quite warm here in the Netherlands. So that's why I have the ventilator on. We had a bit of rain since weeks. Um, it took a long time to get some rain, weeks. And it seems like tomorrow is going to be a rainy day again, which is good for nature. And then after that, it's going to be hot again, just hot. So we will see. There we are. Already pretty. And this is just die cuts from the paper from the Reminiscence Book 5. Oh, did I want two flowers with this? I can't remember. And I will just prepare it and then we will see. <laughs> it's not going to rain, Cindy? I think so. <laughs> At the moment it's quite hot again. Yeah, that's why the ventilator is on. Otherwise it's just a bit too yeah, hot to craft. We don't have a house with air conditioning, unfortunately. Really want to, but not yet. Have to be a bit patient. Okay. Okay, is this boring to watch? But yeah, this is necessary in the process. I am. Um, you want to make something pretty? There are always elements that have to be prepared. And I can't prepare everything in advance, otherwise I will be ready in five minutes, right? That would be boring too. There we go. Let's glue them together. And this is quite a thin paper, so I can just use this glue. This is just a simple glue, white glue. But if um, you use thick paper, um, if I use thick paper or I use foam or something like that, then I will use my glue gun. But on uh, this thin paper, it will be just fine to use glue. Okay, this is a pretty flower. Really love this one too. Okay, yeah, I have the small ones, but um, we will just uh, add them to the lid. This will go away. Where is my lid? Is it dry already? Not yet. Oh, I'm going to make a bit more noise. Yeah, craft room first and air conditioning, definitely. But the summers um, obviously have been very hot here in the Netherlands since five, five or six years or so. Before with that we never needed air conditioning. But now, with the summers we have at the moment, I really want air conditioning in my whole house. It's very difficult to get to sleep <laughs> in the heat. you're writing Penny because in, I have this in my hand and it's a long story I can't see it all. I think it's drier. Okay, just a moment. Oh, ridiculously slow. But yeah, that was snail mail for sure. <laughs> if it takes so long to get anywhere, yeah, then it really is snail mail. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's wrong with the postage companies at the moment, but um, I think everybody in the world experiences uh, problems with the mail. 
So the base of my card, of course I want to use the bee on here and I want to use the pretty flowers on here, yeah? And I don't want to cover up the whole mandala. Um, it will, I will cover up a part of the mandala and the flowers will go first because I want to fl the flowers underneath. Let's see how I want this. And this is going to be the lid, so I have to take into account that it will fold. Yep. Nice base. Oh yeah, this one is going into my big flower too. Let's glue that in. Yeah, you buy your own fruit of snails. Yeah. I think if there's somebody smart... Uh, uh, who will jump into the whole of the package companies or the postage companies then they that will be big business <laughs> I really do think that which is way too many problems okay so black heart of the flowers because the honeycomb and the bee are black too. Oh, Else is here again. Hi, Else. Yeah, postage is a big problem. Yeah, worldwide. Okay, let's see where I want this one. I think I want it, where do I want it? Here. This is always the part, yeah, I like to do this and I can do this for hours, but I won't do that now. <laughs> but um, I'm always looking at how I wanna glue down uh, the flowers and the embellishments I made and never know how I want it until I do it. And again, you won't see the whole mandala, but it's all about the background and um, seeing parts of it. Yeah, something like this. Don't you just love the, the design paper and then the, everything together? It just all fits perfectly. I think it's going to be something like this. Just use glue, Rihanna. Just do it. Oh, thank you guys. Yeah, yeah, it, I love making things pretty. And with pretty things like the flowers and everything. It's just a matter of die cutting, right? It's not so difficult. Um, and it's yeah, pretty quite fast. Oh, don't go anywhere. Okay, the honeycomb. Let's do these first. And of course, I forgot the double-sided tape when I die-cut this. Should be much easier. But okay, now we use the glue. Um, I'm going to watch back the comments because I'm missing a lot, I think. That's how we did this, right? Yeah, that's how I did this. There we go. <laughs> I love the bee. I really like it. It's really, really fun. All right, the flowers can go on there. Let's 
that's one where do I want this one and I want this one in between somewhere but that's going to be there later there we are okay Ah, hello from India. <laughs> yeah, a Tony Show Cologne can fit in here. You can make it uh, to size, right? You can cut it to size. I told you at the beginning, you can make anything with the frames. You can uh, make a square, a slim line. Um, I just needed this one, but you can definitely put in a chocolate bar or something. Definitely. Or a gift certificate or something like that. Yeah, the color combination is just because of the paper. <laughs> and the Roman Edmonds book 5 paper. So there's going to be something else in here. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I have more leaves, but I think I will not add them. We'll do that later. I do have the. Oh, we can use this one in the middle of the orange one and then add a few more things. Yep, yeah, let's do that. Not so sunny Florida. Well, maybe the weather right here is better than in Florida then because it's hot and sunny. You never know. It's, it's rare. <laughs> Maybe in Florida people are happy when it's not that sunny for once. I don't know. Same in India. Maybe because the temperatures are much higher than where I live normally. Okay, this is me fussing. Yeah. Okay. I have these because they just fell out when I die cut this one. I can add a few just for the effects. Let's see how that works. That looks great. Let's do that. Yeah, so this is going to be the lid of the box. Hello. Do what I want, honey. Hello. And then I have the small flowers. And it might be coming too much, but first assemble, let's assemble the, the lids. I can do that now. And again, I just have to glue that. And the honeycomb is just so much fun to use. And I thought, let's just use it because it matches with the flowers. So <laughs> and the stencil and everything. Yeah. Really pretty. I think it's pretty. I don't want to give anything away <laughs> of which I don't think it's pretty, but I, I think it works out just fine. I will have to let that dry because otherwise it will just fold open again. So this is going to be the lid on this box. And now um, just going to see if it's, uh, yeah, do fun to use a bit more of the flowers or not I never know in advance I just make sure that I have some and if it's not going to be used in this project and I might use it in another one so I actually do have leftovers from about every project which comes in handy sometimes but it's just because I never know what I want to use beforehand 
good. Let's keep that black. I don't want to use too much, I think. Because then it's really going to be too much. Yeah, the fun is, is good. If you have fun making it, then yeah. There's something about this area that doesn't quite, it's not quite the way I want it. Yeah. Let's not do the small flowers. I will save them for another project. I'm going to do something else first. For that, I need my mixed media mats. Yeah, I don't want to add more because it's quite busy already. And it's just fine the way it is. I just want to splatter because, well, I like to splatter. Um, don't want that nearby, so go away. I have my white. I want to splatter with white paint, acrylic paint. Nothing special, nothing fancy, just white acrylic paint. Although this one has a glitter in it, but it's the only one I could find in the past. To try out, yeah. The thing with acrylic paint is it's like plastic, so if you haven't used it for quite a while, you sometimes have to open up the lid again. Uh, it's just fine. Pretty, yeah, I think it's pretty too. I'm, I'm happy with it. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, there we are. Oh, shake it first. I haven't used this in a very long time, I think. Ah, oh, there we go. White. There we are. I'm just going to add some water. And take my, where is it? Splatter brush. And there we go. It's an old one, it's broken a bit, but it still works. I'm going to use the watered acrylic paint because this way it's easier to make splatters and then splatter on it. That's it. Done. Going to dry that. You don't have to do this. It's just me liking the effect of it. Sorry about the noise again. dry very fast but okay oh I'm not now splattering on my work surface um, where's my box oh here so it, it's wet I'm not going to do it but it's the lid for this box you can see so what did I do? I made uh, a box from the uh, frames from the paper flower collection. Um, I made a 3D gear in it. I showed you how to do that. It's very easy. It's the same as on this card. Yeah, I showed you how. I made a lid to go on, to on top of it. Yeah, still wet. Um, on top of the box. And I used the paper flowers and the Annette's uh, bee and honeycomb and well, all the fun stuff. The stencil from the art journal specials with the green glitter paint. And I'm going to let this dry and I will show you the pictures. I think that's easier. I will show you. <laughs> there we go. Well, um, done within an hour. I didn't think that would uh, be able, I would be able to, but I did. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I, I hope to see you again next time. I wish you a very nice day or night or whatever you are and until next time. Bye bye.